Hey, babe. Hi, darling. How are you? Wait, what did I just call you? Did I just use some terms of endearment? Hi everyone, my name is Anna English, this is English Like a Native, and if you are here to improve your English language, then make sure you press that subscribe button and the bell notification button next to subscribe so you don't miss any future lessons. Now today's lesson, we are talking about terms of endearment. Now terms of endearment are ways of referring to people that you care about. So your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife, your family or your friends even. Terms of endearment can also sometimes be used with people that you don't know very well but that you like and you want to make them feel relaxed and at home with you. So I opened up by saying hello darling and the word darling is in fact a word that I use regularly. Some people would only use this with people they are very close to, but I use it with a lot of people. Hi darling, how are you? And in that respect, it's quite harmless. However, I wouldn't ever say darling in a strict work situation. If I was going in for a meeting with my boss, I wouldn't greet him with, darling, how are you today? <laughs> he would think that was very strange. Other terms of endearment that you might hear are the terms baby or babe. Now these two words are actually quite different. Baby, I would only expect lovers to use this word with each other. So I would call my boyfriend baby and he would call me baby. But I would not feel comfortable if my mum called me baby or if my grandma called me baby or if my friends called me baby. That would be strange. <laughs> but my friends could call me babe and do regularly call me babe and that's okay. So anyone can call me babe but only my lover can call me baby or my husband or my wife. English is very difficult isn't it? You might even hear some couples who are very much in love referring to each other as baby cakes. Hey baby cakes I love you so much. <laughs> Okay, other terms of endearment include sweetie, sweetie, something sweet like a dessert, like a candy, hey sweetie, or sweetie pie, or sweet cheeks, hey sweet cheeks, though no one's ever called me sweet cheeks. And a common one is sweetheart, hey sweetheart, how are you? You'll notice that natives tend to drop that middle T because it's hard to fit in, so we usually say sweetheart sweetheart with a tiny touch on the tea at the end. Hey sweetheart. Now you'll often hear a lot of people using the word love. Love. And this is one of those terms that you can use across the board. You can call someone in your family love. You can call, call your lover love. You can call your friends love. Hey love, how's your day been? Oh I'm sorry to hear that love. That's terrible. Then we have lovey or lovely or lover, lover. Now be careful with this last one. Of course, that word refers to only one person. So you can only really use that term of endearment with one person. Some other terms that you might hear are handsome. Hey, handsome. That would generally only be used with men. And with a lady or with a man, you might say beautiful. Hey, beautiful. What's going on? You might also hear words like sausage. Hey, sausage. <laughs> it's a very funny term of endearment, but you may hear it. Usually only used between couples. We have the term angel. My grandparents tend to refer to me as angel and my mum sometimes as well, which is nice. And finally, some couples really do have some crazy names for each other. When you're in love, you just come up with these very silly little names. Um, for example, I've heard poo. Hello, poo. Oh, I miss you, poo. <laughs> I've heard schnookums. Oh, schnookums, I love you so much. <laughs> and I've heard munchkin. Munchkin. Come here, munchkin. Give me a cuddle. 
Now, if you have heard any other crazy terms of endearment, then please do put them in the comments box below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this, then please give it a thumb up. Otherwise, take care, have a lovely day, and I'll see you tomorrow for another English lesson.